This is the Linus Pauling Science Center, a $62.5 million, 105,000 square foot building, recently opened to the public and to the faculty, staff, and students who work here. The first floor is mainly dedicated to teaching, with teaching laboratories for chemistry and an auditorium. Uh, we also have a cafe and art on the first floor, done by Stephen Knapp and Christine of Detroit. The 180-seat auditorium is used primarily for chemistry lectures and is booked from morning till night, five days a week. Uh, it's also capable of broadcasting lectures elsewhere, so it's terrific uh, electronic media center as well as uh, has internet connectivity, so these lectures can be broadcast worldwide if need be. We also have two fishbowl laboratories that serve the life sciences community here at Oregon State University. One is the Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Laboratory, or NMR facility, the other is the electron microscopy facility. Uh, the second floor is devoted to chemistry, analytical, and organic synthesis, as well as one teaching laboratory. And the Linus Pauling Institute is located on the third and fourth floors of the Linus Pauling Science Center. As we walk into the lab, we're walking into one large contiguous open laboratory that extends from the east end of the building to the west end of the building. The section we're in right now is the Healthy Aging Program, which is investigating ways to extend the health span of individuals so that we can live longer lives free of chronic disease like cancer and uh, heart disease and neurodegenerative diseases. The middle section is cardiovascular and metabolic diseases. At the end, we're in the Cancer Chemo Protection Program. The particular laboratory we're standing in now is the Oxidative and Nitrative Stress Core Laboratory, which serves the Institute. Various analytical procedures can be done here using mass spectrometry and high-performance liquid chromatography to look at biomarkers of oxidative or nitrative stress that we can measure in blood or urine and see uh, whether certain compounds can ameliorate or attenuate oxidative or nitrative stress. Most of these compounds are present in the diet and can also be taken as supplements like vitamin E or vitamin C.